Hi there, Gemini Cancer. Welcome to your reading. So today we have a little quick message, whatever wants to come through, uh, which is actually good <laughs> because I'm kind of sick. So I cannot really talk a lot without having to breathe in the middle and cough. So let's see how we go. But whatever wants to come through will come through and we'll talk about it. So we have over here um interesting so we have arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life we have ink pod problems to be resolved rainbow the most difficult part of a situation is over and horse short journey so i kind of feel like there could be like a temporary issue here but you should know um that it is temporary you know it's not something that it's going to stay and i don't know kind of hinder your progress and not allow you to move forward because the thing is you are on the right path you are doing what it takes and this little issue here that may come up uh or maybe you're already kind of going through it um it it is temporary and it is going to be resolved i would say very soon um but yeah let's let's pull some terror into this because this could be about a relationship could be about career could be about i'm hearing a housing situation as well so let's see here what do we have and what is the issue exactly so we have chariot Woo! all right ah okay so we have chariot nine of pentacles emperor we also have the eight of swords and let's get one more uh we have the three of wands all right so again high priestess with this eight of pentacles your whatever you're doing here i do feel like for most of you this is about career um whatever is happening here so very much aligned with you okay this is super the right path for you it's what your soul is craving for it's what uh you have been waiting for essentially and i do feel like it does transform you quite a bit i feel like what's happening here i don't think it's anything well it could be physical but it's like it's not actually physical um because I, I feel like it is starting within i feel like whatever problem comes up it could come up because of insecurity but I, what i was hearing is like lack of motivation or lack of ambition lack of energy it's like you may feel a little bit down you may feel like you were really thriving and things were like coming to you maybe it's like you you have a business and your business is having a little bit of a low month and i feel like that's all part of it um i just heard this reading today by Kino and she was talking about like you know when we have the, the wheel for example uh you have you like you go up but you don't always stay up you always go down because then you have to come up again and I kind of feel like what's happening here it's, it's a cycle <coughs> <coughs> sorry it's like you were really thriving and you were really on that up and now you kind of have to come down a little bit it doesn't mean that you're you know it's a tower moment everything's falling apart again it's temporary and I don't think it's um, as bad as it may appear, you know, or at least it's like the consequence of this hiccup, the consequence of this struggle, of this problem. It's not as big as you may think it is or not as negative as you think it is. And I really get this feeling of like for some of you, it's about energy and it's like you're feeling down, lack of motivation. And when that happens, it's because you're receiving a lot of downloads, you're receiving a lot of upgrades. And that requires a lot of effort. That requires a lot of energy. And so you then get to this point where it's like you don't have energy for anything else. And that is okay too. All right. So I kind of feel like the biggest key here for this is to go with the flow. Ebb and flow of life. Just see what happens. And try to feel into your feelings. Okay. Try to also respect yourself and respect your body. If you're needing to eat more, to rest more, sleep more, respect that. Pay attention to that, okay? You're not always going to be in this like super active, super like let's go kind of energy. That is okay, all right? If your business goes through that up and down, that is okay. If your relationship goes through that up and down, that is okay, all right? But we even have here like the most difficult part of the situation is over. So it could be, especially with the three of ones, it could be like, it's like in three days, you're already feeling so much better. In three days, you're already like up and going again. All right. I also feel like some big manifestation could be coming in very, very soon, very fast. All right. So I feel like that's also something that is coming through here. Um, 
But let's see here. Let's uh, let's pull here some spirit animal wisdom cards. I think I don't really remember the name of this deck. Let's pull here some cards for you. So we have uh, starfish intuition. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less. Feel more. This right here is the overthinker card. Okay. I really feel like your thoughts. Um, some insecurities could also be coming up and because things kind of get into this down, up and down, uh, you could start getting into a negative thought process and, uh, I don't know, like negative self-talk. That is the thing. Um, negative self-talk is like, it could be really mean to yourself and not really respecting yourself and not really saying nice things to yourself. So pay attention to your thoughts. What are you saying? But also feel more. What are, what do you need? Okay, and try to go with the flow. Try not to be so hard on yourself, okay? But we also have owl. Detach your emotions from situations you cannot control. Maybe that's what's happening here. Is a situation that is not really within your reach, you know? Because I kind of feel like, especially if this is about a business and it's like sales are low or, you know, things are not going as well as you thought they, they would go. It's not because you're not working enough. You're already working more than enough. It's just part of it, you know? Um, all businesses have like low and high months and that is okay. Just keep doing, just keep being consistent and you will see things turn around very quickly. All right. Anything else? Look at that. Yeah. Success. Believe in yourself and there to dream big. There we go. And they have honeybee, divine feminine. You're being called on to rise. It's like now it's really a time for you to connect with the divine feminine side of you. And that is about self-care. That is about taking care of yourself taking care of your body, taking care of your soul, okay? So let me just see here if there's anything else we need to know, especially about the three of wands. Tell me about three of wands. <coughs> ah, come here. Okay. Ooh, all right. So we have here this career, uh, Secret Admirer and Self, and... I really get this feeling of like you're doing way better than you think you are and people are looking at you people have their eye on you and I feel like there is someone here that really wants to work with you and is soon going to offer you something because even have here like dating dates uh romance oppor opportunities like in this case it's like it's the opportunity side of things gosh now I'm, I'm having hiccups great um but I feel like there is like some sort of opportunity some sort of offer for a new beginning fertility um, that is going to make you very happy. Like someone is rushing in with this opportunity. I feel like you could, you're definitely not seeing this coming, but you could hesitate a little bit on it because these beliefs are still here. So in the meantime, if you can look into yourself and if you can heal anything that needs to be healed, please do. And you may need to take some time for yourself. Okay. Make sure that that work-life balance is balanced. Um, and that you're not overworking. Okay. Take some time to rest. I really feel like for some of you, you really need to um, maybe eat more, you know, rest more, fuel your body with good positive energy. Um, and maybe having like more uh, light exercise, something like that. But we have this engagement. You need official level up. Your career is about to level up. There is this opportunity coming forward that it is going to level up your career and it's going to take you in a very positive path. Okay? Because you're already on that path. All right, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay, so Gemini Cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated and helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe how it already. I would love to have you here in the cusp community. And you may want to check out your individual signs. I do have a new channel, the Sunny Virgo Tarot, uh, for zodiac sign readings. Um, so there may be other messages for you there. And you can also check out my pick cards at the Bird's Nest Tarot. If you're interested in a private reading where we dive a little deeper into this, uh, the link is going to be down below as well my Patreon. We do have that self-care content, so maybe check it out. But we also have Twin Flame readings. So with that being said, if you're interested in that, all of that is below. And that's it. So I love you very much. I wish you the best. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.